da, 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 da. We literally just filmed the last one. But let's play more. With our good old friend Fishbowl Chan. Ready? What is this? How am I supposed to know? <laughs> How am I supposed to know? Okay. Sorry about that. Fun fact, um, Marceline and, yes. Okay. But I got myself some water. Probably not water. Okay. Okay. I don't think anyone cares. Well, I mean, I said in the last one I was going to get water. I'm just saying a light was on out there and I was like, heck no. Nah. <laughs> I'm leaving. Well, I heard that's that was probably me. You know, like, My parents were asleep. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure the um washer was on, like the like the clothes washer. I forgot what it's called. Oh no, it it was on. So the, whatever these people don't care about this. Let's play the game because I'm not cutting any of this out. Yeah. This is you. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone agrees. Okay, can we go to bed? Cause like my back is Okay. Yes. We can go on the bed. Yeah. This is gonna be really awkward for you guys because I really don't want to stop filming because I don't feel like editing. I'm gonna keep my water. So yo. Oh. Yeet that charger off. Now you guys can look at my beautiful floor. Oh, it's dirty. Dirt everywhere. You don't need I guess I should. This way? Okay. That's more comfortable. Okay. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica has, must have really worked hard to find these three. I forgot I did the voice. Maybe that's why they're also delighted by the new idea of a new member joining. Although I don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Fishbowl Chan, what kinds of things do you like to read? Should Yuri be British? <laughs> yes! Let's make British Yuri up in here. Oh, oh well, ah. Uh, considering how little I've read through these past years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. I quietly, I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Masuki's head suddenly perks up. Hopefully if she wants to say something, but kept quiet. No, not much like a reader, I guess. Yeah, let's make British Yuri up in here. Oh, well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke about thing you ever see, saying Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. I bet she's a fan of Stephen King. My favorites are usual, usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Bob Yuri turned British. <laughs> the level of cre creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Also, your accent is amazing to me. Good job. And telling a good story <laughs> in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Stephen King. Here goes on to the passion about her reading. <laughs> she seems so reluctant and the sense of her so in and there will always I lights up. She finds comfort in the world of books, not people. She hates people. I'm gonna kill everyone. Okay. You know, I like a lot of things. Like knives! Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can do so deliberately take advantage for uh, of your own <laughs> lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, uh, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Me. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I read a horror book once! I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimal level. That is really hard. Here we might as well be having a conversation with a rug. At least we know that we're worthless. But yeah, I actually read all of the FNAF books in real life. All three of them. Okay. Really, I wouldn't expect that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. 
I guess you could say that. People, when they talk to me, like, come on, they're always like, oh, you're so pure and innocent. I'm like, reading about children murder. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Oh. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Look, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, like, just... Let's see, guys, I don't know what me, Bruce looks like it. Never mind. That's right, you usually like the red right white Q things, don't you, Natsuki? Oh, uh, what? Ooh, she angry. <laughs> she about to murder. Who gave you that idea? You left some scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and Give It Back. Fine, fine. <laughs> Your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. You're always thumbs up with that last week. I am not cute! Nasuki, do you write poems? Well, well, I guess sometimes. Maybe you care. I just, just think it's impressive. Why don't you share with me sometimes? No, no, no! Nasuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Oh, I'm a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. I'm really talking some deep tea right now. And now Yuri's not British. No, I'm kidding. Well, I mean, she's like half British now. You must be willing okay, to open up yet. your readers, exposing your I like British Yuri. And showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can send an example of not Suki feel more comfortable enough to share hers. Guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sat in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Hmm? And Suki and Yuri look questioningly at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone's even. Uh -uh. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new num new member, I think it'll help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond. Isn't that right, Fishbowl Chan? Monica smiles warmly at us once again. H hold on, there's still one problem. And what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic and we join the club, I apparently come forth with what's on my, been on my mind the entire time. I never said I'd join this club. Toria so had convinced me to stop by, but I never made a decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and uh, um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare at me with dejected eyes. No, <laughs> but. I'm sorry, I thought. Hmm. Oh, there's school tan. You all, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear decision like this? Wait! What? We need to do those, the yonder, like, there's what? a glitch that you can do to make them all um, yonder. That's a mod. That's like a, I'm, it's either a fan game or a mod. Isn't there a glitch you can do without a mod? No. Oh. Let me, let me. There's actually a glitch where, that you can do to make Monica delete herself. When she oh, goes yeah. to delete Yuri. Yuri make, change Yuri to Monica dot C, C -H -R, and then yep. change Monica to Yuri dot C -H -R. And you can actually, um. How is Yuri's reaction? Is she just like, what? Oh yeah, she's dead. And she's already dead. Monica just deletes her corpse. Which I mean, thanks Monica. Really clean up. But okay. Also, um, right. But also, I'm pretty sure you can delete all the girls and it will have, um, or if you delete Monica first thing or delete all the girls first thing, except for Sayori, Sayori will freak out. Yeah, she's like, oh, what is happening? She'll be like, 
That can't be all there is. This can't be all there is. Please tell me this isn't all there is. Because she's aware that it's now a game. And that her existence isn't real. And now she's freaking out. And then she hangs herself and dies. Again. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the Litcher Club. When the, when the girls' eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! <laughs> Taylor yawns and wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Uh, hey! Wow, I have the yawns today. It's probably because it's like 1 a.m. You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came by for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. That makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. And yes, I am going to keep that voice for a fishbowl jam because glorious. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. We didn't do any literature. Okay. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring it to the next meeting so we can all share. What if you don't? Do you like, what's the punishment? You, you have to. What if you don't? Like, what if you forget? You can't. Like, it's a part of the game, Jade. Well, no, I'm just saying. If this was real life? Yeah. They'd probably delete you. Michael looks over me. Fishbowl Jam, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I thought that anxiety won't make up inside me. Honestly, Sam. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat and get uh, Suki clean up the food and tea. Hey, Fishbowl Chan, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I walk, never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, I might as well. Yay! With that, two of us depart the classroom and make our way home. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Say hurry, not so you hurry. And of course, body I don't know what I'm doing. Will I ever be happy? Will I grow a chance to get closer to one of the girls? All right, just seeing me make the most of my circumstance and good fortune will find me. Okay. And I guess I'll start writing a poem tonight. Okay, so we're gonna go the Sayori route because we did a randomizer. Yeah. Next round, we're gonna do Yuri. So, doesn't she like cute, happy things? She likes happy. She likes bittersweet. Natsuki yeah. likes cute. Yuri likes so. descriptive oh. and weird. Okay. What? Hello? Oh. Okay. Yay! Okay. Um, um, broken. Huh. Yay! Um. Pain. Fear. I think that's more of like deep words that Yuri. Oh, alone is actually Sayori. Smile. Cry. Yeah. That's um. Tragedy. Oh wow. Dang, this is depressing. This is joy. joy. Hopeless. No. Oh wow. Um. Why? Yay. This is actually really good. Death. Sunny, yeah, sunny. Oh, nice. oh nope, that's Yuri. Um, I think you're dance. going way too deep. Yep, there you go. Silly. Giggle. Giggle is more not so good thing. Dang yeah. It. It's um, fine. Ribbon? Sunset. Or sunset, yeah. Kawaii, no, that's No, nice. that, that's definitely not so good. Bubble. No! no! Laugh. There we go. Uh, Melody? Melody. No. no. Um, um, play? No, I think. Memory. Yeah, there we go. Depression. Depression. There we go. Love. Really? No, I think love is more not so key. Tears. Tears. Okay, I think we did mostly Sayori. Because we did a randomizer thing. Hi again, Fishbowl Chan. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. It might be a little strange for me, but at least I gave my word. I'm like, see, your no. Excuse you? <laughs> you know, Fishbowl Jam is just a rude guy. At the Lich Club, I came here, and everyone else is already hanging out. Hmm. 
Thanks for keeping your promise, Fishbowl Challenge. I really like British Harry. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a uh, of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. Sarah told me he didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. Ugh, how dare you, um, Fishbowl Chong. <laughs> Fishbowl Chong? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you plan just to come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Now, Suki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps their manga collection in the classroom. Ew, a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> That's the tea says. Please, Yuri, stop. <laughs> sure, you now Suki finds herself between saying Monica and manga. Mala manga, Monica. No, I think she's just saying M. Like, Mala manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, as he plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Fistful Chan always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. Mm. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. <sighs> You're the case of the yawn. <laughs> like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. So you worry, it's because your room's so messy, it's distracting. It's so rude. And you have set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Why did I just say that aloud? <laughs> it's oh. also you. How come? You and Fishbowl Chan can become good friends too. Uh, um... Say, say, Ori! Hmm? As you will say, Ori seems to in some weird situation she just put me in. Uh oh, oh! Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Oh, wait, Sayori. It, it may me. What? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It, it's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Oh, she's blushing. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Oh, what do I do? Honestly, me, Yuri. Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. Just that means that for me to you. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So it's a nice gesture from you, and it's a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal of it if you don't want me to. Alright. Uh, well, here. I didn't want you to feel left out. Obviously, I would never buy a book on my own. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is, this is, how can a girl be accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book that she thought like you liked, despite me not reading much. Yeah, I think it is a kind gesture, Fishbowl Jan. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I'm too lazy to talk and take the book. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone has settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some schedule activities, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Because this is a terrible <laughs> club. I'm seeing them are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Oh, wait, can we go into history? Oh, we should probably save this game. Oh, yeah. Let's let's save the game. Grace's face is already buried in the book. Wait, can we see what she said now? See what you said now. To Monica, to say like Monica. No, okay. I thought there was a thing where you can see what she says. Like, what do you mean? I'm pretty sure that there's, like, something where, like, you can go into the history. Yeah, when, um, Yuri dies. It oh, says the yeah. description of the, um, it, and then at the very end it says, like, Do you promise to yeah. um, spend more time with me? Or Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Will you promise to spend the most time with me? And it just repeats that over and over and over again. Yeah, it's after Yuri dies. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. 
Papa noticed the intense expression like she's waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Matsuki's rummaging around in the closet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Man! <laughs> Looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down to the New York's desk. How am I supposed to identify myself with something literally related I mean, I stuff like this? I mean, I book, you freaking dumb. <laughs> yeah, Yuri just gave you a book that said, where she said that you could read. It's like, oh, you read some of this book Yuri gave for me? Yeah. I feel a little too tired oh to God. read. Dude, were you like, first like, whoa, a book? And you're like, okay, I guess I'll go to sleep. Well, listen to me on Sayori and Sayori's conversation with Monica. What are they talking about? We're probably, probably going to see okay. Really lame compared to all the other club stalls. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our only chance to sell everyone what literature is all about. The problem is the idea of literature sounds too defense and intelligent and intellectual. <laughs> Whatever. But it's not like that at all, you know? You need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to our, their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. And what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, no one will come. No one will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know. And after they come, we can do the thing to speak their creative minds. What is this? Is it? Are you taking this really seriously? Too rare for her to be. It's rare for her to be something like this, yeah. Hmm, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? I mean, that's how I came here. What, what kind? Oh, well, yes, we could. Cupcakes! Ah, oh, good thinking. I think you would love to do that. Mm -hmm. Alright, now, so you can make the best. Yes, you. Okay. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcake speaks to my creative tummy. Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Same. <laughs> but honestly, you still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is her usual self. But therefore, lies expected to be unlike me. Who has trouble finding any motivation. I can't talk. The way puts your mind things and makes them come to life. I suppose that's why I ended up letting her get on my case about things. Can't but wonder why, what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. <laughs> How's my eyes to see Sayori's fight? Go my village, I'm nearly <laughs> falling on my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait, actually, actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does there twelve in napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Imagine a club you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. <laughs> That's loud. Okay, so just, my shoulders heave Monica over on. Wait, okay. Let's actually end this video right here because it's twenty-three minutes long, and I'm not editing these, shorten them. So bye, guys. Like, subscribe. Good, good. Bye.